Hey guys, and welcome to my channel, or welcome back to my channel. My name is Brooke. Uh, sorry, I don't know. Oh, wow, I just keep shaking you. That sucks. Um, my name is Brooke. And if you happen to be new to this channel, I do ASMR videos a lot, but I'm also a certified health and wellness coach. And so I do a lot of videos about health and fitness and um, like recipes and stuff. I've been vegan for over three years and I'm also super pregnant. So I've been talking about that as well. I upload videos four times a week, so you really don't want to miss out. It's, it's, a, it's a good place to be. There's bound to be something that you like, I swear. Um, <coughs> today we are going to be doing a pregnancy update that is kind of unlike the uh, last several pregnancy updates. If you have not been following me for very long or if this is by chance your first video that you're seeing of me, I have had the easiest pregnancy. I swear to goodness it has been so easy. I've been so grateful. And I never expected it to be easy because all, not all, but most of the women in my life, they, I parted my hair in the middle and it's like, there are these two, I don't know how to, do, never mind. Okay. So most of the women in my life, they have had like not complicated pregnancies by any means, but just like pregnancies that weren't easy. They were pregnancies. They were di difficult. They gained a lot of weight. They, um like were sick all the time they had problems with like dizziness and aches and pains and just like it was it was awful for most of the women that i know and so i was just anticipating <laughs> that it would also be hard for me my mom gained a lot of weight when um she had my brother specifically i think she gained excuse me 65 pounds with my brother 55 pounds with my sister and then 45 pounds with me i believe and when the doctor told me, because I started this pregnancy just a little bit overweight um, with an unhealthy BMI, and that, that, was the, that was the thing. It was my BMI that was like a little high. So they were like, you can't gain any more than 15 to 20 pounds. And when I told my mom that, she was like, uh, who the hell do they think they are? Like, <laughs> she was like, there is no way. Like, that's not possible. That's going to be so hard. Um, as of today, I've gained three pounds and I am 38 and a half weeks pregnant. So like if that doesn't just tell you uh, how easy this has been for me, I don't know what, what would. Um, well, here's the thing. Um, and also, I'm just gonna quickly address like the background situation, the me situation. I'm not sorry. Uh, this has been a hard past couple days for me and you'll hear why. So, um, yeah, not sorry about that. Just wanted to address it. Like, this isn't how all of my videos are, obviously, but this is just how it's gonna be for tonight. Okay, back to normal, back to normal uh, scheduled programming here. So, uh, yeah, <coughs> this pregnancy, um, the, sorry, you're shaking again. My God, oh, I'm so good at this. So, uh, the first, I believe, up until the 27 week mark was when I was like, when is this going to get easier? Because I wasn't having any problems. I never had morning sickness. I was never nauseous. I think I threw up a total of three times and it was literally like a, I think I'm going to throw up. Blech. Oh, wow. I just threw up. That was all it was. It wasn't like, it was nothing bad. Um or anything like that. I was really tired, but I feel like it's good for you to be tired while you're pregnant because you actually, I mean, unless you're a mom of multiple kids and you don't really have, oh, the time to nap and whatever, but I feel like being tired in pregnancy is a good thing because your body is working so hard to make a human, so you're gonna be more tired. I didn't view that as a, b a bad thing, the fatigue. But the bad part was I couldn't eat. I just didn't have, sorry, my boobs. I just didn't have an appetite at all. Um, so I just, that's why I lost so much weight. I lost 17 pounds in the first 17 weeks. And then I didn't lose any more weight, but I didn't put any on either <coughs> for a while. 
Um, and I remember at around week 27, I think, is when it was that I was like, oh my gosh, I can eat again. And I was so excited because like I could finally eat normal amounts of food like I used to be able to. So I guess the whole pregnancy hasn't been super, super easy, but um, aside from the lack of appetite, it's been great. So yeah, um, but this week, this week has been something. Uh, unlike any week that I've had <laughs> up until this point because I've gotten sick and I haven't gotten sick in like over a year I don't think um, unless it was like fake sick like oh I can't come to work <coughs> you know that kind of thing um, sorry but yeah I haven't gotten sick at all um, until this week and it was a few days ago I think three days ago I I Everything was fine and I went to work and everything was cool at work. I was babysitting. And then like once the kids went to bed, I was like, wow, I've got like this pain in my neck and like I'm just super like my ears are kind of they I feel pressure and it's just not comfortable. And then by the time I got home, I was like, oh my god, I'm like I'm in a lot of pain. And it was, excuse me, um, it wasn't like pain, it was more just like a pressure, just an awful pressure all the way around my neck, the front and the back, the throat and the like back of the neck, and then also in my ears. And I was like, well, this sucks ass. <laughs> and then the next day, I was like, so sick. It's like, because keep in mind, that night before, it was like midnight before I even felt bad if not like one in the morning and then the next day was awful I was so sick so I started taking um, extra vitamin C supplements extra water tons of water um, <coughs> both lemon water and regular water and I was also taking elderberry syrup which I've heard is not recommended I did talk to my midwife about it midwife about it she told me that it wasn't recommended however she also said that the reason why is because there's not much evidence on the use of elderberry syrup while you're pregnant because it's unethical to test things like that on pregnant women which is also why they argue against like certain herbal teas and stuff and I also t was told that um, if you get an elderberry syrup supplement or you know whatever uh, thing a rooney dooney that it can add sometimes sometimes the brands will add extra vitamin a which can be harmful to you or the baby and so i got a super like organic good elderberry syrup that just contains um elderberries and citric acid so there's no added anything and i feel comfortable taking it myself um uh, like a tablespoon four times a day is kind of what I've been <coughs> doing and um, that's something I feel comfortable with but if you don't then don't take it like that's totally fine um, yeah but it, it was something that I started taking before I even knew it was like a thing that you weren't supposed to do so anyway um, there's that and I've just been trying to get some rest and just get over it then the day after the second day that I was sick the technically the first day but whatever I felt great I woke up and I was like oh my god like I totally am better this is awesome and then the next day I woke up and I was like oh I feel slightly worse than I did yesterday but I still feel good so it's okay and now today I woke up and I have a cough which is new and exciting <laughs> and I have um, like a little bit of a stuffy nose and I'm like who invited you first of all I thought that this party was over but whatever um, it's not so I'm still sick and I've read over and over and over and then a couple people told me this like from personal experience that they uh, it's like an old wives tale apparently that you get sick with cold or flu like symptoms a couple days before you go into labor so 
that's cool. Um, yeah, so I don't know if I don't know if that's like a thing, but that's what I've heard from some people. Um, otherwise, I could just be sick. My boyfriend did get home from a cruise like a week and a half ago or something and he was sick on the cruise he was sick when he got home so he probably passed it on to me whenever I've gotten sick in the past that we've been together it's only ever been when he's given me something so it probably was just from him and his dirty germy cruise germs that were all up in my space so yeah <coughs> either way here it is this is this is me um, I have, I'm officially, oh no, I'm not three pounds up yet. I started this pregnancy at 161.2 pounds. I don't know what that is in kilos, I'm sorry, or stone, but that's what I started it at, and I am now 163.6, so I am two and a half pounds up from my pre-pregnancy weight. Which is great. I am, I don't know if I said this, I'm 38 and a half weeks pregnant, but I'll just title this my 33 week up or 38 week update because, you know, whatever. Uh, and also, today specifically, I have had super, uh, sorry, this like, oh, okay, yawn too. <coughs> Cough, yeah, let's, any sneezes? No, okay. Um, I have really, like, I have a lot of burps. I think that's indigestion. I don't know what it's called, but I have a lot of burps and I have for at least a month. Like I just pretty much burp constantly throughout the day, like just while I talk and it doesn't bother me. It's just something that's there. But today I have had some back pain, something awful. <laughs> it's been, it, it's not been fun. I have this, uh, again, like, do what you want. If you don't want to do it, don't do it. Um, I have this. I got it in California. Um, Bear Balm Honey Pot. It's this cannabis, topical cannabis relief. And um, when we got it from the girl, who's actually who, <coughs> a family member, she was like, there is no, and she worked at the place. She was like, there's no THC in here. You're not going to get high. Nothing like that. Um, the product itself, however, says that there's THC. I don't know. I don't, there's not. Like, I've used it on many different occasions, and I've never been high or anything like that, like, ever in my life. And that's certainly not gotten me high. So, um, it's just like, it's basically CBD um, balm is what it is like the percentage of THC is so low that it's not even like there's nothing in there that's gonna affect you but um, yeah so I did have CJ rub some of that on my back because there's this one spot specifically that just hurts like a oh, it hurts so bad um, yeah and it's been hurting a lot all day and I think yesterday as well and I googled that, and apparently that is also a sign that labor is coming, but my body it is not saying anything about, uh, here, let me just adjust the, okay, I'm just gonna go like that. My body is giving no signs of labor, however. <coughs> um, yeah, like I'm not, I haven't lost my, uh, there has been an increased amount of discharge, um, but there has n I haven't lost my mucus plug or anything at like that as far as I know. I haven't been having any contractions, again, as far as I know. And like moms out there have told me you're going to know when you have a contraction. You're going to like know that it's a contraction. It feels like um, period cramps or whatever. I've never had period cramps either. So I'm just like, I don't know what... I don't, I don't know who she is. I don't, I don't know. I don't know what a contraction feels like. And there are times where like I do have a pain in my stomach where I'm like, ow, WTF is this, but I don't, I feel like I would be like, oh, that's a contraction. You know what I mean? I, but I don't feel that way. So I don't know if I've had a contraction. I don't think so, but yeah, so I don't think I've had any of those and my doctor said, or my midwife, I'm sorry, not my doctor, um, my midwife says that I look way too comfortable to be giving birth anytime soon, so yeah, I, 
um, don't want to shit sorry I forgot um, I have an update a medical update that's actually really bad news really bad news bears I am GBS positive which is that there's like this test if you've never <coughs> been pregnant or you're just not here yet um, where you have to get a swab of your rectum and your vagina and you have to get this little swab I did it myself um, but otherwise like I think doctors do it for you I don't know but you have to get this swab to test to see if you have a uh, certain bacteria that I forget what it is but it's the GBS something strep bacteria and it's very common apparently it's in about a quarter of women um, all the time and it's just a healthy it's, it's just there you know it's not like an unhealthy oh this is bad this is gross it's just a bacteria and the reason why you have to get tested for it uh, at this point in pregnancy is because if you give birth you could potentially pass it on to the baby and then the baby could get really sick and die or just get really sick I'm not really sure exactly what happens but it's bad but apparently that's even more rare like the the bacteria passing on to the baby is like one to two percent of cases so even that is like super rare but it's super easily prevented um, through antibiotics and uh, yeah so here's the thing here's what makes it an unfortunate situation I now have to have an IV lock while I give birth at the birth center. I'm planning on having an unmedicated, all-natural birth at the birth center, and I don't want anything to screw that up. I am accepting of the fact that perhaps it could happen that I give birth at a hospital, but if it does, I'll be pissed. I'll be really pissed off. So, here's the thing. Um, right when I go into labor, specifically right after like my water breaks they want me to have at least two doses of antibiotics I think they said penicillin I don't know but they want me to have at least two doses of that one every four hours before I have the baby to make sure that I am protected and the baby is protected um, from this bacteria basically from it swapping any of this bacteria back and forth and so if I but okay hold on but if i um were to go more than 24 hours yeah if i were to go more than 24 hours after breaking my water and i still haven't had the baby then they would want to transfer me to the hospital for um, I don't know something else. I don't know guys. I don't know uh, But it's something about this bacteria that I have that I tested positive for and um, Yeah, so there is a possibility that I will not be allowed to birth at the birth center, which would Freaking piss me off like I have not there's nothing wrong with it if there's a medical necessity or just a want from the mother to give birth at a hospital but I haven't had any of those I don't want to and I haven't needed to so like you guys I haven't I've seen a doctor one time during this pregnancy and he came to the birth center and did my ultrasound at 20 weeks otherwise I haven't seen a doctor I haven't seen an OB I haven't seen like anybody it's just been like supernatural and hippie like I like and um, yeah so the idea of anything screwing that up would really upset me but Hopefully everything just goes fine and I don't need to worry about that. Um, yeah, again, it's super common, so it's not like a, like, my dog is having a dream. It's not some dire situation or anything like that. It's just something that kind of sucks, you know? Um, it wasn't something I was expecting, so there's that. Um, yeah, what else do I have to say? I am <coughs> hoping that I get over this sickness before I give birth because I would not want to be sick right when I have a newborn baby and I certainly don't want to have a cold or anything obstructing my lungs while I'm trying to breathe. I had my newborn class yesterday 
or CJ and I did, we both went to this newborn class. Or no, it wasn't a newborn class, it was an early home care class. Because at a birth center you go home four to six hours after you give birth, instead of staying for like the one or two days. And the most interesting thing that I heard at this class was hand expressing milk. Sorry to just be like handling myself, but whatever, I'm pregnant, you clicked on this, it's an update, whatever. So hand expressing milk, I'm not going to do it because I've heard that it can also induce labor. And we don't want to do that before Rose is ready. But basically it's like a way of getting milk out of your breasts without pumping and without um, the baby actually being on. And apparently it increases your supply like a shitload. And so I would love that. I would love to have a pop in supply, as I'm sure most of us would. So, yeah, uh, that's just like a cool thing. And it even like talks about um, hand expressing and like massaging while you're pumping. And it's just like, it's really cool. So I learned about that. I'm excited to explore that more. I cannot believe I am 38 and a half weeks pregnant. Um, and every time I get on one of these updates, I'm like, oh my god, I'm 26 weeks. This is so crazy. It's flying by. But like literally, this is the this is the end. This is the home stretch. A lot of people that I talked to had already had their babies by this point um, that they that I'm at right now. So it could be any time. <coughs> <coughs> yeah. So I'm ready for that. <laughs> At any point I am yeah like I'm super ready I don't I don't want to like wait any longer but I also don't want to force anything I think that it's kind of wrong when um, perfectly healthy like not uncomfortable moms are like oh my god I just want to get this baby out because it's just like well they're supposed to be in there you know for a reason like for the a few more weeks um, if you're super uncomfortable or miserable or sick or there's like a need then yeah obviously bounce on that ball but otherwise like you don't you don't need to if if there if your baby's just chilling just chill um relax uh, speaking of chilling sleeping is still going fine for me I wake up to pee but other than that I am comfortable I <laughs> knock on wood I am yeah sleeping fine so I'm grateful for that uh, I will show you my bump in a sec, but I have also still continued to do the evening primrose oil uh, massage on my perineum, and I say massage because that's what like the internet calls it, but it's not. It's so painful, so painful, and it makes me like almost cry. Because you're like, all you're doing is stretching. You're stretching the opening. Um, trying to get it ready so that it doesn't like tear and hurt a lot when you're giving birth. So you're just like, you know, stretching it out. And it's not comfortable. It's not like, oh, a relaxing massage. Just having a nice night by myself. It's not like that. It hurts. Um, but I am doing that. And I'm drinking my labor prep tea as well to help tone my uterus so uh yes my hospital bag or birth center bag is packed cj's stuff is packed i might be doing maternity pictures this weekend the weather has been shit here it has been so snowy and cold we've been in like this polar vortex thing in minnesota which has been thrilling but uh yeah so there's that, like, I, nothing's really been going on. I mean, it, more this week than ever. My boobs are leaking all the time. Not right now, which is cool, but uh, most of the time they are leaking. I'm sure that was really flattering. Uh, they are leaking. Um, yeah, <coughs> whatever, they do that, they leak. And... Uh, yeah, so me and this background, like, this is just what I've looked like for the past few days. I'm sick, and I never get sick, and when I do get sick, I'm always like, oh, well, I have to keep going. 
and I know that when I'm a mom, I'm gonna have to do that, and I'm gonna have to be like, well, I'm still gonna, I have no choice, I have to be a mom, and blah, 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 blah. I don't have to do that today, honey. No, I don't. I can just be sick and lay in bed, so that's what I've been doing. I have not been filming very much <coughs> at all, um, which has not been fun. I really, really love filming, but I have so many videos, you guys, just freaking stacked throughout this month. I'm already into March, like all my pre-filmed videos, and that's at four videos a week. So trust me, you are going to be getting plenty of um, videos no matter what. Even if I gave birth tomorrow, you would still have videos for the next two weeks. Um, no problem. So yeah, there's that. But I have not been pre-filming the last several days and it's been really upsetting. But I'll show you my bump now. Normally I show you in the morning so it's like smaller and like different shaped more differently. But it is nighttime now. It's midnight so it's going to be bigger than normal because I've been like eating all day and stuff. Uh, yeah, still no stretch marks on the bump. Um, no new stretch marks anywhere. All of my stretch marks I literally got by like week 12, I swear. And they were all on my boobs. Just because my boobs like... And then they went... So... But my nipples went... And they've stayed there. So that's been like... You know, fun. Uh, yeah, let's just show you my... My bumper rooney dooney okay oh hold on <laughs> don't freak out um, I am wearing boxers that's what these are they're my boyfriend's boxers so here is my bump there she is definitely bigger than the last time you saw it mm-hmm yeah this is where I like to wear boxers see the little like flap for the junk um I don't definitely don't fill that out but there's the bump uh super cool having a big bump I know that I'm like officially pregnant pregnant now because there was a six-year-old boy that I was babysitting and he was like are you are you gonna have a baby soon and I was like yeah I am and he was just like oh okay and I was like, okay, rude. And then he, and then he was like, I could tell. I saw your, I saw your belly. And I was like, oh my god, that's like the first time anybody's noticed it. So, um, yeah, I'm like, I'm pregnant, pregnant now. Isn't that cool? Uh, anyway, yeah, because I had like a small bump for so long that people would be like, are you sure you're even pregnant? Yeah, I'm sure. Thank you. Uh, this video has been kind of sassy because I just don't feel good and I just don't, yeah, I don't, I do not care today. I do not care and I will not care. Uh, but that's it. I'm gonna get back in bed because I can and I'll talk to you guys in my next video, in my next update video. I'll, maybe I'll give you one at 39 weeks or 39 and a half or 40 weeks. I don't know. Like, I don't know how long I'm going to be pregnant. If these old wives tales are correct, then I will be pregnant for like five more seconds and then I'm going to go into labor. But yeah, my, my midwives don't see any sign of that. The baby's measuring fine. She's kicking me a lot. She lays in the same like position. Um, she's doing great. She's measuring, I think at 37 weeks. So she's a little small. She's a tiny baby. Um, not tiny, but she's like small. And I figured that she would be because I was a pretty small baby. But yeah, who knows? Who knows when she'll come? I don't. You don't. But we can all have some fun guessing. Guess in the comments down below. <coughs> Again, my due date is February 24th. So comment down below when you think she'll actually be here. That would be exciting. For some reason, March 4th has really stuck out in my mind, and that is 10 days overdue, 8 days overdue, something like that, um, and I would be super fine with her staying in for that long, like, I'm, I'm comfortable, I don't, I'll go to 42 weeks, I don't care, but, 
yeah, it's just about her and what she wants. So we'll see. And I thank you guys so much for watching. I really, really, really appreciate it. Please follow me on Instagram because I post lots of bump pictures every single week. I update the bump and like, I just take a lot of cute pictures of my dog and like food and shit. So yeah, feel free to like follow my Instagram and I will see you in my next video. Thanks guys. Bye.